grammar lesson, passive voice. We use the passive voice to emphasize on the agent or when the agent who performs the action is unknown. When I say the sweater was knitted by my mother, in this sentence, the focus is on the object, not the subject. The rubbish is collected every day. The passive form consists of verb to be plus past participle. We just conjugate verb to be according to the tense. Then we use the past participle of the verb. Other examples. Present simple passive. John plays tennis every week. We can start with the object, which is tennis. Tennis is played every week by John. Past simple passive. He scored a goal yesterday. Where is the object? Yes, it's the goal. So we can start with that. A goal was scored by him yesterday. The present perfect passive. They haven't completed the building yet. The object is the building. We can start with that. The building hasn't been completed yet. Past perfect passive. After the fan had been repaired by the electrician, the visitors arrived. The object is the fan. Then we conjugated verb to be according to the tense, which is had been, and the past participle of the verb, which is repaired. Model verbs passive. The building will be knocked down next Monday. Here we have the word will. After all, we use the infinitive form. So it becomes will be knocked. Present continuous passive. The paragraphs are being written at the moment. Past continuous passive. Who were the letters being sent by? Here we have verb to be plus ing, which is the continuous form of the verb. We used were plus being and past participle who the letters were being sent by. The verbs believe, expect, feel, hope, know, report, say, think, are used in the following passive forms in personal and impersonal constructions. Let's have an example. People say that she is talented. When we start the sentence with the subject that comes after the word is that, it is formed this way. She, the tense here is present, she is said to, plus the, the infinitive form of the verb. She is said to be talented. But if you want to start a sentence with it, it will be different. People say she's talented. You can say it is said that she is talented. Pay attention that past perfect continuous, future continuous, and past perfect continuous are not normally used in the passive. The verbs make and help are followed by two plus infinitive in the passive voice. The elderly lady was helped to cross the road. And according to the words like hear, watch, and see, if they are changed into the passive form, they must be followed by a past participle. The children were seen playing in the yard. The word let becomes be allowed to in the passive. Mom, let us go to the party. Where's the object? Yes, we. We were allowed to go to the party. With or by. By comes before agents, but with comes before an instrument or material. For example, the cake was flavored with the chocolate, but the house was destroyed by fire. The agent here is the fire. Fire destroyed the house. Causative form. We use the causative form to say that we arrange for someone else to do something for us. The causative form consists of have, the object, plus past participle. Let's have some examples. Past simple. She asks the hairdresser to cut her hair. 
If you want to change it into causative, it will be this way. She has her hair cut. Someone is dry cleaning his trousers. Dry cleaning here is the present continuous tense. You can start with the person who asks others to do things for him. He is having his dry trousers dry clean. Someone designed her house. You can start with the person who asks others to do things for him. She, the tense is past. She had her house designed. The mechanic was repairing his car. He was having his car repaired. He will ask someone to publish his book. He will have his book published. Someone will be making her curtains. She will be having her curtains made. She has asked someone to sew her dress. She has had her dress sewn. Someone has been making her dress. She has been having her dress made. Past perfect. Someone had typed her compositions. She had had her compositions typed. Someone had been tailoring his suits. He had been having his suits tailored. Someone can mend the door for him. He can have the door mended. He likes taking pictures. He likes having pictures taken. Have comes in questions. For example, does he ask someone to check the oil of the car? Does he have the oil of the car checked? He painted the house himself. This means that he didn't have the house painted by anyone else. Pay attention to this note. Make plus object plus infinitive. This expression means that someone insists that we do something. He insisted that Anne should sign the contract. This means that he made Anne sign the contract. But according to the word have, the word have means ask here. To have somebody do something means that someone asks someone else to do something for him. He asked Anne to post the letter. He had Anne post the letter. If you want to change into causes, it will be formed this way. He had the letter posted by Anne. To get somebody to do something means to persuade. He persuaded Sue to sign the contract. This means that he got Anne to sign the contract.